This is a free tool I just made. It's an image caption generator. And in this video, we are going to show how the tool works, how to use it. And then if you stick around to the end, I'm going to show you how I built it. So to keep you up to date, there's been an open AI developer keynote speech, and they just released GPT-4 vision to your API capabilities. And I've had an idea for a while to make an image caption generator. And now this is perfect because I can use the GPT-4 turbo its vision, and it can create a caption from your image. So I've integrated that API call into this app. And again, it's completely free. I'll leave a link down in the description below. Right now, it's just running on my website, but you don't have to create an account. Just hop on this website, upload your image, and it's gonna create a caption for you. So let's test it out. Click this box, go through your downloads. I'm gonna choose this image. This is Doug Heffernan from King of Queens. It takes a few seconds to load and then right here. Caught in the moment where you can't decide if you want a snack or not. And then it's three relevant hashtags. Work break, snack time, decisions, decisions. And if you want to copy this caption, just click this button right here. And then boom, it's been copied to your clipboard. So let's try this again. I'm going to refresh the page. Let's try a new image. This is from the movie Limitless. And it goes cracking codes or just browsing memes. Only my laptop knows. That's a funny caption. I like this one. And then hashtag tech life, hashtag code mode, hashtag night owl programmer. And then again, you just copy right here. Okay, this is the free tool. And let's show you how it was made. So I'm going to go to my bubble. Let's click into my website. We're going to launch it. Let's go to the captions page. And here we go. Not much on it. First, we're going to need an API call. So in the plugins tab, this is the API connector. And the initial call is being sent to OpenAI. And the exact call I have is GPT Vision. And it's a post to the completions endpoint. And the JSON object is actually pretty simple. It's just this right here. All I did was copy it directly from this document. So scroll down here. This is on the API reference in the vision tab. And I just copied all of this right here. Make sure curl is selected in the top and not Python. So I grabbed that, paste it in here. And for those of you who know Bubble, to make dynamic values, you just use this text here. So I believe that's called a caret. So it's left caret, what you want to call this parameter. I just called it text and then a right caret. And then the same with the image URL. And that makes this dynamic. And you always have to call it once. So I just use the default in the instructions, which is what's in this image. And then they have a Wikipedia image. So I call that and that gives us the prompt. So back on the image caption generator page in the workflow, what I have is as soon as the picture uploader, and that's this right here, as soon as the value is changed, that means a picture is being uploaded. First, we're gonna set the state of the page to loading. And what the loading is, is just this little loader right here. Nothing special. This is visible when the page is loading. And then I'm making an API call. And then remember that dynamic text? I'm just writing here. Let's move this to the center. Write an Instagram caption for this photo and include three relevant hashtags. And then one more thing in the API call you need in order for the GPT vision to work is an image URL. So I just take the picture uploader's value in a URL and I add HTTPS colon to it. So that gives it a URL that it can actually use. Sorry, one more thing. The model that you're using is now called Called GPT-4 Vision Preview. But if you copy this, all this text, you'll have that already inputted. Okay, once that's done, I set a state of the page and I get that API result. And that's going to be that caption. And then one more thing, I have a text box down here that when that state's created, it creates this text as the caption. And then finally, there's a button to just copy to clipboard. And I'm using a plugin that's called Copy to Clipboard. Okay, high level overview of what's going on again. We have a picture uploader in the middle of the page. When someone uploads a picture, it sends an API call to OpenAI, and it's using the brand new GPT-4 vision model. And the prompt I'm using is write an Instagram caption for this photo and include three relevant hashtags. And I'm supplying it the image URL from that picture uploader. When that's ready, I'm setting the state of the page to that result, and I'm just displaying it in the text box below. So when that's all said and done, let's preview it one more time. All right, this is the page. You're gonna upload an image, click this. Let me scroll down, let's pick something else this time. Let's pick Steve Carell from The Office. It's gonna load that image, make the API call, and then right here, channeling my inner boss vibes on this Monday morning. Hashtag office life, hashtag Monday motivation, hashtag best boss. How awesome is that? It saw this image, it reads what's going on, and it creates a caption for it. All right, this is all completely free. You don't have to make an account. Just head on over to the page. Link is in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I hope you can use this tool in your business today.